my lord, I was in bed. I was in bed, I was asleep. Well, I wasn't asleep, I was in bed. And I get tagged in this and I'm like, what? No! Ruby Rose! No! You will be missed, love. You've... What's going on? <laughs> I'll tell you what's worse about this is I feel like I now actually have to complete reviewing the first season. Just because it's the end of an era. She's not going to be in the second one. What the... F oh, I'm, I'm allowed! Oh... <laughs> I'm going to have to finish reviewing it now, aren't I? Right, that's it. Next few days. That's it. They're coming in thick and fast. Right, before we jump into this, obviously what we're going to do, we're just going to be talking absolute crap about this. But I do want to just draw your attention to a fantastic project that I am working on. It is a original high concept horror fantasy film. I'm crowdfunding for it. Uh, there's a link to it down below in the description box. In fact, if you enter... Or if you uh, donate five dollars more, you are entered into a competition to win a custom, traditionally handmade, one-of-one -one weapon prop inspired by my film Black Field. So check it out, support it, because I tell you what, as bad as it might be, or it might eventually be, you might think it's going to be bad. It's not going to be. It's going to be epic. It's definitely going to be worse as this shit. So that's for sure. Right, let's check it out. Ruby Rose exits the CW's Batwoman. DC series, and I love this part. I love this bit. DC series to recast the iconic lead. Iconic. Batwoman's iconic now, is she? She's not that iconic. Okay, she's not. Uh, the iconic lead role for season two. Um, I, I am blown away by this. Who, who'd have thought this was going to happen? I genuinely... I'm so surprised. I'm just going to move my dumb face over here. I am so surprised. Um, oh, what? <laughs> uh, okay. First and foremost, Ruby Rose. I wonder, oh, I wonder how many, how many comments are going to come out now where it's just like, oh, it's because she was bullied out of it. Because she, she's, she is one of these people that um, basically has, uh, chooses to not uh, accept any of her own autonomy as, re as you know, as reasons for um, people's critique, you know, they never say she she never says this to do with her or anything like that. It's, it's always everyone else. It's always bullying. It's always this. It's always that. Blah 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 blah. Couldn't possibly be the fact that she literally can't, uh, you know, has the acting capabilities of fucking trout. Um, you know, it's not. It's not part. Of course, it's not that. Never possibly that. No, no, no. So I wonder if it's going to come out that it's all bullying. I bet you anything. I'll bet you anything that it's going to be bullying. What do you think? Place your bets. $10 or more. $10 or more. I don't know. Who knows? But I'm so, I can't believe this. Uh, I genuinely feel like I'm going to have to um, watch what was left. I think I only had two episodes left. Uh, and I know to even draw people in, they've started to add Batman or something like that, which is just insane. Um, and I wonder how much of this is to do with Regardless of what they say, I wonder how much of this is to do with the controversy surrounding everything. Because some woman, some poor lady, uh, is paralysed due to this shit show like, of, of, a, of a production. It's terrible. This is a shocker. Ruby Rose, the star of the CW's freshman drama series Batwoman, is leaving the Warner Brothers TV Belanti Productions drama after one series. <laughs> After one season. Uh, the series, which already has been renewed for a second season, will continue with the title role getting recast. Who do you reckon they're going to have? I'm allowed. Do you... Do you... Oh, God. Do you reckon they're going to go for, like, an outspoken um, LGBTQIA... I know my ABCs. Um, are they going to do that as well? Do you reckon they will? Because that, that minimises their pool even further, doesn't it? I mean, they were scraping the bottom of the barrel as it was. Do you think they're going to do that? Oh. Oh, it's... Um, mm, it's um, mm, the fresh... Mm, the fresh salt from all of this. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's like unicorn tears. I just... This is amazing. Like, do you reckon they're going to recast? I bet you they're going to recast with an LGBTQIA. Oh, it's going to be so good. Slap it ahead. Um, and anyway, so she says, here we go. I've made the very difficult decision to not return to Batwoman next season. 
uh, Rose said in a statement. This was not a decision I made lightly, as I have the utmost respect for the cast, crew, and everyone involved with the show in both Vancouver and in Los Angeles. Sh shall we do a bit of ASMR? Uh, Rose was a major... <laughs> Oh, got some like beard and dog hair in my face. Rose was a major get. A major get was she? Oh, she's a major get. Are you fucking? Oh my god, are you high deadline? She was a major get. Oh, I've lost my mouse. Where is it? Okay, she was a major get when she was cast as Batwoman in summer 2018. Originally for the 2018-19 Arrowverse crossover and later for a fully-fledged pilot. Um, sorry, I've, I've gone down a bit there. Uh, written by Caroline Dreiss, based on the DC characters, which went to the series, uh, executive produced by Dreiss and Belanti Productions. Greg Belanti and Sarah Schechter. Rose acknowledged the series' creative team as well as the heads of the CW, Mark Pedowitz and Warner Brothers TV operation Peter Roth. Here we go. Here we go, ladies and gents, here we go. Ah! I am beyond appreciative to Greg Belanti, Sarah Schechter and Caroline Dreis for not only giving me this incredible opportunity, but for welcoming, welcoming me into the DC universe they have so beautifully created. Thank you, Peter Roth and Mark Pedowitz and the team. Uh, that's a very... Uh, it's a very uh, unfortunate name, isn't it, Peter Witz? Uh, the teams at Water Brothers uh, and the CW who put so much into the show and always believed in me. Thank you to everyone who made season one a success. I am truly grateful. So what? So why is she going? Why is she going? Neither Rose nor the Batwoman producers would speak to the reasons for the for the actress's exit. Uh, so early into the series life, though sources indicated that it is not related to the stunt injury she sustained during filming of season one, which left her facing paralysis and needing emergency surgery. Whatever. Obviously terrible stuff, but she's fine. So who, that, that's bollocks. Who cares? I'm speechless. It's just... I just... I can't believe it. Oh, honestly. Can you... Who are they going to get? Who are they going to replace it with? Do you reckon it's going to get cancelled? I reckon it might get cancelled. I reckon... Because they don't... They don't have, it's what's going to happen. But in a joint statement, Belanti Productions and Warner Brothers TV reaffirmed their commitment to Batwoman and to casting it. And then I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Why? And to cast it in the LGBTQ actress in the groundbreaker role? Why? What does that achieve? Higher on merit, not on what you identify as fuck me, because it works so well with Rose, didn't it? Water Brothers Television, the CW and Belanti Productions thank Ruby for her contributions to the success of our first season and wish her all the best. The two companies said the studio and network are firmly... Oh, God, stop jumping around with your shit adverts. Um, are firmly committed to Batwoman's second season and long-term future. Long-term! Can you believe it? Uh, and we, along with the show's talented creative team, look forward to sharing its new direction, including the cast of a new... A lead actress and member of the LGBT community. Oh, it has to be, doesn't it? In the coming months. Why? Why does it have to be? Why does it have to be? Orange is the New Black uh, alumna Rose returned to the small screen. Blah, blah, blah. Playing the first gay lead character, male or female. Whatever. This, this is just like, why is this? Why? Why? Why do you have to... I, I don't understand this fixation with whether you, you know, you suck on some um, some sausage and some, you know, some meat and two veg, or whether you're clam lapping. Like, how does that... How does that remotely affect your acting abilities? Because very clearly, it's not done her any favours, has it? Let's be honest. What are they doing? <laughs> anyway... Love to hear your thoughts on this. This is Comedy Gold. Do you want me to finish reviewing this series or not? Because I've, I've, I've got, I'm not going to lie, I've not been bothered. Um, but I feel like I have to now because this is the end of an era. And then we can compare it to the new one. The new um, diversity hire, I guess, or whatever. Inclusive hire, whatever you want to call it. Let me know your thoughts down below. I love you all so much. Hit subscribe. Make sure you turn bell notifications on to notify all Otherwise, you are letting YouTube curate content for you. Why would you do that? That sounds utter garbage. Cheers. Bye.